President. Hong Kong is termed the pearl of the Orient, an international financial and transportation hub, a well known, uh, a well known uh, port which we take pride in. But we have got uh, new names. We're called the Center for uh, Wildlife Smuggling and for um, Ivory Smuggling. In international conventions, when people talked about the smuggling of wildlife, such as uh, rhino horns, fish moors, and shark fins, Hong Kong is always uh, mentioned as the major market and transshipment center. We are um, under the uh, CITES, uh, we are one of the uh, seven places uh, uh, on the blacklist, one of um, the seven countries or places on the blacklist. Well, after the smuggling of drug, human trafficking, and smuggling of narcotics and firearms, while our smuggling is one of the most serious illegal trading activities, we're talking about 115 to 220 billion US dollars turnover per year as a result of many international um, or uh, um, uh, criminal syndicates and even terrorists have been attracted to this lucrative trade. In 2010, in between 2010 and 2012, over 100,000 elephants have been killed for their trust, for their tusks. And in between um, 2002 and 2013, 65% um, of African elephants have been killed. The international community understands that we must stop this trade in order to stop the killing of African elephants. Um, uh, President Xi and President Obama have recently agreed to take action to stop this wildlife smuggling, including uh, a ban on ivory trade. Uh, just a few weeks ago, when uh, the Pope visited um, Fiji, he indicated that uh, ivory trade uh, should be banned. We must uh, protect wildlife, and Hong Kong has a duty as part of the international community. How come we've become a wildlife smuggling center and the biggest um, illegal uh, trading market of ivory? Because Hong Kong is an international uh, transportation hub, we uh, have difficulties in checking on all the goods and people that flow through Hong Kong. In between 2000 and 2013, 33 tons of uh, smuggled ivory, uh, the fifth in uh, the world, has been uh, seized. I think that is just the tip of the iceberg. And the unscrupulous merchants are using our loopholes uh, for ivory laundering. In 1989, we have a license scheme. Merchants can only sell ivory obtained prior to that date. Over 300 odd uh, licen uh, licensed traders had to uh, provide the um, uh, weight of ivory they had, but not the exact items. Uh, still, they have 111 tons of ivory with them. So some illegal traders will uh, sell these uh, so-called black um, ivory as uh, legitimate items. And as a result, the killings in Africa cannot be stopped because of uh, the task. It is hard to tell uh, whether the ivory is legal or illegal. So uh, there is a loophole here that cannot be plucked. My motion is on strengthening the comeback against the crime of wildlife smuggling. I have three point, uh, five points. First, we must step up the monitoring of wildlife smuggling and allocate more resources uh, for law enforcement agencies such as the Customs, Excise and Police to step up their enforcement capabilities and we must step up uh, exchange of intelligence with uh, other authorities and we must uh, have new resources and technology for checking and enforcement. Secondly, we should include offenses committed for commercial purpose under the protection of endangered species of animals and plants ordinance. Uh, in the ambit of organized and serious crime ordinance, we should increase the penalty so as to reflect the gravity of the offenses and uh, serve a greater deterrent effect. According to WWF, in between 21 and 2013, fines under the ordinance range from 20 to $60,000. In 10 cases where imprisonment uh, was handed out, uh, the uh, term was only three to eight months. Compared with um, the profit they can make, uh, the penalties are nothing. And if we can uh, 
uh, put uh, this ordinance under the S. OSCO, then uh, the law enforcers have greater powers. They can uh, freeze uh, the assets, uh, they can enhance the um, penalties, and I'm sure this uh, will serve a greater deterrent effect. Third, to strictly enforce the protection of endangered species of animals and plants ordinance and uh, to uh, enforce it in a timely manner. Fourth, uh, to further explore restrictions on the trade in ivory and other endangered wildlife and their products so as to ultimately achieve a total ban on the domestic trading of ivory and other endangered wildlife and products in Hong Kong. Perhaps a grace period can be introduced for the traders and after that um, such items can only uh, be kept or displayed in museums and for education purposes. Five, we must strengthen publicity because this is so important. The government should take the lead so that consumers in Hong Kong and um, visitors from the mainland can have heightened awareness in the protection of uh, wildlife and they should say no to ivory products as well as products of other endangered species. I know that this motion is not controversial. There may be implications to some people. Some people say that ivory trade should be totally banned. It should not be banned because it is a traditional craft of China. But I think um, skilled craftsmen uh, can uh, work on other raw materials as well as ivory. And uh, the ban has been imposed for 30 years. Um, ivory is not a sustainable trade anyway. There is no reason uh, to cause the extinction of a certain species. Some people say that uh, the tusks can be obtained without killing the elephant. But in fact, the most valuable part uh, is the section between the mouth and, um, uh, and uh, the jaw. And uh, to get the tusk, the, un the elephant must be killed. People use um, machine gun to kill them. Uh, to prevent them uh, from uh, fleeing, uh, they were just um, remove the face from or the head or the face from the elephant. Now this is an elephant a body without uh, its face and it is left to a slow and painful death. And elephants are family animals. I've seen a small baby elephant a few months old in uh, Africa. He uh, would not leave his um, mother's dead body for a few weeks after his death, her death. Uh, last year the, a few organizations to uh, save African elephants commissioned a consultancy on people's awareness and protection of elephants and uh, also our awareness. 76% of the respondents supported a total ban and about 90% of the respondents said that they had never purchased any ivory products. In the past few years, they, uh, they, did, they did, did not know any people who had purchased ivory products in the past three years. I urge members to support my motion. Once the motion is passed, there is no reason for the government not to act. There are only 470,000 or so elephants left in Africa. At least 30 to 30,000 elephants are being killed per year. If we do not act immediately to protect the elephants, within a decade or so, African Elephants will disappear in wildlife, and our next generations can only see them on picture books. And then we can only tell our younger generations once that there was a very unique species in Hong Kong with very big ears, a long trunk, uh, very uh, uh, thick uh, legs. They uh, used to be one of the largest mammals on earth. But uh, people wanted their ivory uh, for decoration and they were slaughtered, leading to their extinction. In history, we have got um, many wildlife gone into extinction because of people's greed, uh, such as uh, the ostrich in Arabia. People wanted their fine feathers for a decoration of ladies' heads and now they're extinct. How can we explain to our younger generations that wildlife uh, could go into extinction because of people's desire and greed. Einstein said, have the duty to act. I believe many people in Hong Kong did not know beforehand um, the relationship between African life and wildlife smuggling, nor did they know the impacts or uh, on Hong Kong. I hope that this motion can, uh, can arouse awareness so that we can take action to save wildlife. Thank you.